I'm Jackson Pierce and this video is going to be kind of depressing. Seriously, I'm just warning you now, sad video ahead, because this video is about the 52 Hertz whale. So in the late 80s and early 90s, the US Navy started picking up on their instruments the sound of a whale calling out. You know, they were listening on their little dials and the submarines, I guess. I don't really know how the Navy works, but either way, they were hearing, you know, whale noises. Whale. It's my impression of whale noises. Now this was nothing unusual because their instruments pick up the sound of whales calling out all the time, but what was really strange about this is this whale was calling out at a frequency of 52 hertz. Most baleen whales, which are filter feeders like blue whales and humpback whales, they usually call out at a frequency between 15 and 25 hertz. The 52 hertz whale also called out faster than other baleen whales, and it seemed to have a kind of strange migratory pattern. And all that means the Navy has no idea what is up with this whale. All they know is this is the only whale that is like this. It's been suggested that the 52 hertz whale could be the last of its kind, a whale species we just didn't know anything about. It's also possible that it's a hybrid of two baleen whale species or that maybe it's just a genetic abnormality. But the depressing part of this video is regardless of what the whale is or isn't, it is the loneliest whale in the world. See, because it calls out at 52 hertz instead of the normal 15 to 25 hertz, other whales can't hear it calling out. So this whale is wandering the Pacific Ocean, calling out for other whales, and they literally cannot hear its calls. And since the 52 hertz whale has that wonky migration path, it doesn't exactly run into a lot of other whales either. Lonely whale is depressing. By the way, the reason we haven't like caught it and studied it or tagged it or anything is because we really only know where it's been based on the Navy instruments, and the Pacific Ocean is a very big place. But anyway, the story of the 52 hertz whale kind of made me wonder. Is that story sad because the whale is actually sad, or is that story sad because I'm anthropomorphizing the whale, you know, giving it human qualities? Because I know I would be sad if I was calling out over and over for friends and no one ever answered me, but I'm a person. I have different values and needs than a whale. Maybe the whale doesn't really care that no one ever answers, and maybe he just calls out because he thinks that's what he's supposed to be doing. Plus, baleen whales are pretty solitary animals anyway, so it's not like if the other whales could hear him, he'd be like, you know, having a whale party or something with like guacamole or whatever party food whales would eat. So, is the whale actually as sad as his story makes me, or is he just swimming around wondering what kind of krill he'll have for lunch being a whale? Maybe it's both. I don't know. Now I've depressed you though, haven't I? But hey, here's a way to cure that depression. Look what I have here. I have an arc of my next book, Purity, which comes out in April. And I also have this little sampler pack of The Faults in Our Stars, John Green's new book. So to undepress you, I will be giving away both of these to one commenter when this video hits 5,000 views. So 5,000 views and then someone who commented on it gets both of these things. I'll even put like a little ribbon around them if I remember to. Yeah, so. There's that, start commenting, start viewing. 52 Hertz Whale, if you're out there, you could also win. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you later.